Hi guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and today we're going to be doing a guide, a tutorial to see how we can update our Nintendo Switch to the latest custom firmware version which is 18.1.0. So guys, sit back, relax and just enjoy this very simple tutorial. Now, the first thing we obviously need is our Nintendo Switch. So as you can see, this is a modern Nintendo Switch. I showed it in my previous video. If I click on settings, scroll all the way down and go into system, you can see right there that it's running 17.0.1 and atmosphere version 1.6.2. So this is obviously running an older, older version. Now, what I want to do is update this to the latest version and I'll show you guys what you now need to do. So the first thing you'll need to do is shut off your console and reboot it to Hecate. And the reason why we do that is because we want to check the version of Hecate that we're running. So let's just let the console reboot. And there you go. So we've got version 6.0.7. So it's quite old version of Hecate. And we're going to update this to 6.2.0 and update the firmware of the version of the, of the of the switch as well. So now all we need to do is just power off the Nintendo Switch and power off. Now all we need to do is just click in and pull our SD card out and we need to put this into our PC or laptop and then we'll switch over to my monitor to see the next steps. So what we would need to do here as you can see, is as soon as I insert in my SD card, this is now showing up on my machine. And you can see there's a bunch of folders that showed up. What you will need to do is you'll need to download the firmware, which I'll link in the description. And you will also need to download the latest version of HATS as well. And the first thing I'd like you to do is once you've downloaded those items in your SD card, you can rename atmosphere as old atmosphere and you can rename the bootloader to old bootloader once that's done all you'll now need to do is open up hats and copy everything that's inside it and drag and drop it into your SD card and you'll soon get a message shortly that will tell you that you need to replace the files. So all we need to do is replace the files in the destination. And once that's done, we'll see all of them would have transferred over to our SD card. Like they have done here. So don't worry about the old atmosphere and the old bootloader. We needed that present. Now, one thing you'll also need to do is create a new folder and name it firmware 18.1.0. And the reason why we'd want to name it that is just to make our lives a bit easier. So what you now want to do is go into your firmware and you'll see a bunch of NCA files. So what we would like to do is we'd like to copy all of them and paste them all into this folder here. So all we're now gonna do is control A and drag and drop them all into that folder. And once that's done, we can finally move back to our switch and get to the next round. So let's just let it finish off. Now we're just gonna let this go away, postpone. And we're nearing the end of this. So once that's done, all you now need to do is just eject your SD card. So all we need to do is just eject. And then we move over to our switch. What we now do is just insert our SD card back in to our switch as I'm doing right here and then we can switch our Nintendo switch across and boot it on 
and what we should get shortly is Hecate and you'll see that we now have a new version of Hecate showing up over here. You don't need to set the time, it's up to you. I like to do it because why not? And today is the 2nd of July. So let me just find that right here. And then the time is 19. 5.49 There we go So, press done here And you'll see the configuration will save to the SD card So just press OK And now what we need to do is we need to launch And go to our SysMMC And click on it and the reason why we're doing this is going to be apparent in a second because we need to update our Switch's firmware. I apologise about my camera not wanting to focus. My iPhone's been quite annoying lately. Uh, once we tap here, we realise we now have a blank Nintendo Switch. So what we now need to do is click on the album and then we need to click on Daybreak, and you'll see it will take us to the install screen. So you click on install, you click on the firmware, and then it will start verifying the update. So let it verify and validate, validate. and it says that that update is valid. Press continue. It's preserved the settings because you'll need to do this, and it's very important that you install FAT32 and XFAT, and then you press continue so you let this run and it will take its while so once this is done we'll be back now that that's done all we need to do is click on reboot and that's updating just the custom firmware so now we are back on Hecate so now what we need to do is click on launch again now click on EUM MMC and just wait for it to load. So now we've booted into our Nintendo Switch. So just tap three times, click on the photo album, click on Daybreak again, and we're going to repeat the process on our e EMU MMC. And you just let it validate the update again and then press continue, preserve the setting, install FAT32X, FAT, very important you do this, and then press continue, and then we let it complete again. And now you see that it's done, so all we now need to do is the same thing, reboot, and then we'll come back to Hecate, and all we need to do is click on launch, Click on back on EMU MMC. And then all we need to do is just click on the home button three times, as we've done right here. Go into system settings. So we're all the way down to system. And now you see we're running the latest version of our current software. So you guys, you're now updated on both your switches uh, stock firmware and your custom firmware and you will be able to continue using all your apps as you do again one thing i do suggest is you run 90 dns one more time just to be on the safe side but you are now good to go and your switch is up to date so guys if you enjoyed that please support and i'll catch you guys in the next one